Hi all, today like we are going to see how to install CentOS 8 in Oracle VirtualBox. So I have already installed the Oracle VirtualBox on my laptop. So I am going to create a new virtual machine CentOS. Going to start like a new virtual machine. So for example, we can give any name. So for example, CentOS 1. So now you can see like automatically it has taken the type as Linux and arch architecture is we are going to use as a Red Hat 8. So here we could see like only Red Hat is available since it's work on like a RHL based uh, operating system. So we can select as a Red Hat 64 bit version. So I'm going to give continue. So RAM what, what is the RAM that we are going to use. So here we are going to use like one GB of RAM. So and here we are going to create a new virtual disk of recommended size is minimum is eight. So you know what is the type of the disk image? So we are going to use the default VDI image. So here we have to select any two types like what is it? So here dynamically allocated or fixed size. So we are going to use dynamically allocated. Dynamically allocated means like uh, how how much the size is used. For example, we are given 20 GB as an uh, disk size, but your OS is installed with only like 4 GB. For example, uh, from your uh, from our primary hard disk, it will take only 4 GB, not the whole 20 GB. So if you are giving the fixed size, if you are allocated 20 GB the 20 GB size will be fixed you cannot use it for other purpose so we are giving dynamically allocated and where to store so we are giving here CentOS 01 and here instead of 8 I am going to give like 15 you get so here go to the settings and go to the storage option and the CD drive so where you have downloaded so I am going to select the CentOS 8.2 minimal image that will come around 650 MB of size and going to give then I have to choose the network adapter so uh, here I am going to use the bridge remote so that it will take uh, from my Wi-Fi router so what is I already connected so now I'm going to power it on so I'm going to increase the screen size So here you have three options. So I am going to select the first option CentOS uh, Linux 8. I am going to give press enter. It will take like few minutes to come up. can minimize it a little bit lesser okay now we are going to select what is the language that we are going to use so we can use for example I am going to select English India and this keyboard layout will be automatically selected so now the installation source where we are going to we have the installation so we have the installation source is from the disk so just we have to click and give done now you can see the installation source is setting up so installation destination so we already added a 15 GB disk so we are going to use 
and uh, the storage configuration we are not going to create any partition as of now so it is automatic partition so network will we already told like we are going to use the Wi-Fi so here you can see the Wi-Fi adapter and going to turn on and give my host name into s1 for example then i am going to give done so if you want kernel code now we can install so now i am going to disable it now so software selection so we are going to use only like minimal installation so I am not going to give with GUI and if you want you can choose it now or we can install it later so as of now we are going to install only a basic functionality so I am going to give that so now you can see now the install begin installation has been enabled so you are just going to give begin installation so it will take some 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the memory and CPU what you have so now we are going to set the root password so for example here we can use red hat 123 for example you can give whatever you want what is the root password so if you want to create any user you can create or you can leave it as a default user 1 And password we can give anything so if you want to set this as an administrator we can give as an administrator so now you can see the installation is almost 50 percent done we have to wait for a few minutes to complete now we can see like uh, the OS installation basin complete so we have to press reboot remove the disk so I am going to give power of the virtual machine power on so now you can see the two uh, the bootloader consists of two options one is the default one another one is the rescue mode so now we are going to go the default uh, bootloader So now I'm going to log in with the credentials what we have created as the installation time. User is root and password what you have provided. And check the IP. So our IP is like 192.168.251.46 is the IP. In the future sessions like we can see like how to install a package and how to create a users and assign uh, privileges and set the permissions and lot more to come thanks for watching centos installation